what's up guys this is coach Ray and welcome to the part three of week three preparation for European Championship so last weekend was just crazy we had two major competition one was Latvian national championship on bench press your body weight for reps and second thing was uh, first stage of Latvian Cup 2018 I hope everyone saw part two video of bench press it's right here if you haven't seen it so today we're gonna talk about arm wrestling and uh, it was just like craziest weekend and Sunday was just so we had um, I woke up and we have to go to the springtime so it was uh, we have to turn our clocks one hour ahead so I woke up and I was like feeling I should be sleeping one more hour then I will feel rested so we get to the venue and uh, we have to set up all the things and I think I woke up at 7 a.m. and competition started at 12 a.m. So I was gonna test myself, I was gonna compete and um, basically when I started to warming up I felt that my left, it's, uh, it, there's just pain and it doesn't go away so I think I need to, I will go to a physiotherapist to basically make professional look at it, maybe he has some ideas what we can do. I will get to those things but uh, it was just, I think the competition was awesome and um, there were so many good moments. You can see all videos will be posted in this week on Global Arms Link YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to that channel, this is where I post all the competition videos from Europe, World, Latvia and uh, uh, Estonia, Norway. Basically, wherever we go, I bring the camera with me and we film the matches. I'm sorry guys, I know there hasn't been a lot of videos of things you want to see, those are arm wrestling exercises and things specific for arm wrestling, but tomorrow I will start filming new videos and uh, they will be on channel on this week. I'm making up for things that I'm posting because I don't know, it maybe some of you doesn't uh, want to see these vlogs or basically uh, everyday life, not everyday life, but out of ordinary things that we do. But if you want to see them, please leave a comment, I uh, want to see your response and I will adapt to it. So right now, let's basically look how the day went. So I have amazing team, I have amazing secretaries, I have amazing uh, referees. A lot of my legacy guys are helping out with uh, setting up venue, preparing for competition. And this was a part of a bigger venue. There was um, basically, there was this uh, sport expo in Latvia. Not like things that you've seen on different uh, countries, we have more basically where different uh, federations host their competitions and things like that together in one place. And um, we set up the stage and uh, people, there were, every time there were like uh, 100 people around watching, so I think it was really good for arm wrestling in Latvia, so more people see it. Uh, there weren't a lot of women in categories, we, we have the problem with women, but uh, there were a lot of guys. There were 79 competitors uh, in this competition and it was good, so we usually get on average 70. So as you see, <laughs> the beast himself, Kaspar Gravis, is uh, refereeing, he also competed, but we will get to that. Uh, I had a lot of my guys showing amazing performance and uh, this right here, this is my little brother, uh, Rollins, he's only 15 years old. Last year he won national championship under 18 and he competed in four classes. And uh, two of them, he got gold and one, and he got silver. We have both arms together. So right now you're seeing myself, so with my left, uh, I felt uh, there was some pain when I hooked and uh, I'm not quite level where I should be, but uh, basically I tried to over adapt to things that I was doing and uh, getting better. I know everyone knows basically that I will go and try suppress and they try to block me, but uh, I sometimes play and I go to the top, over the top. So this is uh, this is Sander Shed. This is one of the heavyweights in Latvia. You have seen him in some of my different videos. And this battle we wanted to see. This is Norman Stomsons, legend of Latvian arm wrestling, the heaviest and strongest guy in Latvia. And Shedis was uh, is the one of the few guys who has beaten him. And we wanted to see basically how this goes. 
uh, I was refereeing this match I just wanted to see that so we get to the right arm I start warming up and a sharp pain in my elbow and I just can't do nothing I go to the table and I feel like like there is no I, I don't even want to try and the thing is I was so exhausted that I just couldn't get myself to arm muscle after this there was open class and in open class this is the only uh, fight I won with my right arm uh, I had really good going with my left arm and um, basically I, I did everything I could I finished in fourth place uh, I couldn't uh, beat some of those guys that uh, I have beaten before but uh, all these injuries that I have I'm, I'm, I'm getting better I hope I will get better stronger I'm not hoping I know I will so the day was amazing, day was really exhausting but cool and <laughs> you can see of some of my fights I go over the top because I know guys are expecting that I will go on the inside but I like to basically sometimes play it out. And um, I, I did uh, get some revenge on Kaspers with my left arm, there's a position where I can basically stop him and he has problems pinning me there so I got in that, that position and I overlasted him, but Kaspars is a beast, he's just, uh, he won 78 class, the class that I was pulling with both arms, in open he finished 2nd and 5th place, or 2nd and 6th place, I'm, I'm, I have forgotten about it, I have to see results right now to, to, to tell the correct way, so right now it's like 2-3 centimeters below, uh, over the pad, and I know there's this position, he has really tough, pinning me. Uh, we have this in um, in a lot of training sessions, basically doing the same thing. He cannot pin me there, so this was the match of the day. Uh, Maris Kalais and Kaspers Grabs, those guys are beasts in hook on inside and they just had an amazing match, just like Kaspers arm after this match was uh, <laughs> eight times bigger than normally. He was just like they, they were after this match they were both sleeping on the ground for 10 minutes just trying to catch their breath because it was so taking on them but everyone who was around we loved it it was just like basically uh, sometimes you have these these weird competitions where there are no good equally good fighters fighting each other so sometimes there are days when everyone is just better than everyone else and this was they were so evenly matched that they stay on in center and and Mars Calais he finished second place in super heavyweight class in, with the right arm so that says a lot about Kaspars he has been showing problems with his right arm before but right now I think his right arm is uh, it's I think it's even better than his left and his left is, is really really good but um, you there we cannot uh, basically there are no video about it but they both had fouls on some places and it was like I don't know how many times they restarted the match and it ended on a foul but uh, still it was just <laughs> basically the one of the best matches in the day and uh, Kaspars I think had most of those matches in the same day because he's just a beast on table there's a saying that we made about uh, Kaspars that he can give everything up on table except the victory so so he was coming prepared he rested and then he started training for Europe and he was really good and he has really good block right here as you can see and I was really amazed about him and um, he's just a beast I think this year Europe and World Championship uh, Kaspar is gonna show his best performance yet I don't want to jinx it but showing how he his how he is working right now I'm really hoping for it and um, the final match of the day the last match of the day was Sandri Shedis versus uh, Kaspar's Graves so Sandri is, is like uh, he's so strong that he wanted to just basically hold Kaspar some place give him some chance to fight because he was already tired after the Mars fight but uh, there are some positions where Kaspers is really good and it's really hard to finish him even though you basically you you take you have control over him so as you will see he will struggle a little bit but uh, Sanders was really good that day and uh, 
So this was an amazing weekend we had. My guys uh, showed very good results. Next thing is uh, national championship in 21st of April and uh, legacy team gonna be coming uh, guns blazing and I think there's gonna be a good matches and we're gonna show even better performance. So as you saw this day was crazy and there was a lot of good fights and uh, again go to YouTube channel Global Armistling I think tomorrow and every day I will post videos from this competition it was like just crazy and cool and um, for myself I have so many responsibilities and two days going on competition and basically giving your all it just took a toll on me and uh, I right now watching the matches I understand when I went to fight with my right arm I was still afraid that I might get injured in in open class it was better but I had tougher opponents basically guys who finished in first and third place right now guys I want to say just armsling is more mental game than anything else it's it's of course you need to be physically strong but even know if you're physically if you go with your head basically feeling like you you feel like shit then you're gonna perform like shit thing is with my right arm I'm I feel I'm still afraid basically to get injured again so I was holding some things back but uh, before the open class I was psyching myself up I was uh, talking to myself and basically I did a lot better than I I even thought I could do with my left arm because my left is still hurting my right isn't hurting so as I said I will go meet some physiotherapist and talk with him and basically maybe he can think of a plan what we can do how I can get better healthy and injury free I have tried all the things that I can do by myself and right now I think I need some expert advice as I said videos this week are coming you guys are awesome so every week we're growing for about 100 subscribers which is just amazing and all the support and uh, again if you have a chance to support this channel check out patreon.com that's in link in description you can um, pledge any sum of money so I can make better quality videos and um, there are a lot of stuff coming this week because I think I own it to you guys and again leave a comment uh, about uh, vlogs do you like these things or maybe you I should just stick to the exercises I don't know so like this video if you haven't subscribed see you next time guys thank you